Hi, and welcome to this lesson on 12 raquels for the flamenco guitar. Let's get started. The first raquel is all downward, E, A, M, and I. E, A, M, and I. So notice how I have all my fingers coiled for start, and then sequentially, each one comes down on its own independently. And I can also omit the E if I'd like, and just go with E, sorry, A, M, and I. Raquel number two is similar to number one, but I'm going to add an upward I at the very end. So I have downward E, A, M, I, and upward I. So you could use this in a multitude of palos, including perdiales. And of course, you could use it in soleares. Now Raquel number three. Here it's almost identical to number two, but we're just adding an upward index at the beginning. So we have up I, down E, down A, down M, and down I. We could also use it in a cycle, that means continuously doing the raquel. You could also use this in tangos. Or in um, fandangos de Huelva. Raquel number four. Here we perform the same movements as number three, but this time we add an additional upstroke with I at the end. So now we're starting with I and ending with I. So upward I, downward E, A, M, I, and upward I. So we have a nice, uh, robust cycle. And this could be used in a palo like uh, Verdiades. Scale number five. Here we introduce the thumb, the pulgar. And here's a rule of thumb, pun intended. You scoop underneath the first string and pass along all the strings and get above the sixth string, passing the rosette when you're coming up with P. So in this case, we start the raquel off with P, up, downward, E, A, M, I. And as we cycle again, Thumb needs to come back down underneath the I, the sorry, the first string. Pass along all the strings, including the sixth string, right about here in the zone of the rosette, and then downward E M I for a nice full explosive raquedo. Now raquel number six. Now we've got P coming upwards in the very first note and the last one. Upward P, downward E, A, M, I. Okay, and once again, the rule of thumb, pun intended, is the thumb coming back up across all the strings, passing along the zone of the rosette, top portion. Once again, P, E, A, M, I, and downward, hand upward P. Notice that movement of the wrist. The wrist is slightly rotating and the thumb is going up and down, up and down. So this is my favorite personally, Rascal number six. You could use this for everything. It's nice and full. So once again, Verdiales. Okay, Bulerias.
So it could be very explosive. It could actually be very full and slow, gradual. It's very versatile. I love this one. Number six. Now number seven. We've got an upward I, downward A, downward I. So this one could be used for accelerated tempos when you're aiming for strings like uh, four, three, two, and one. So you're anchored around here, and you've got kind of a narrow range, and you need a nice crisp, light, Raquel, uh, that's not too intrusive, not too big, not too thumpy, like the ones that involve the thumb. And you can use this in Bulerias also for a nice crisp sound along the treble strings. Gale number eight. This one can be used together with number nine, which I'll show you in the next slide. And it could be used for like extended rapid fire arqueos that you need for alegrias. This one has I downward, upward I, downward A, and downward I. So this one is quite different from all the other ones that we reviewed. And uh, a quick little note, you see that all the fingers go down as I strike and all the fingers go up as I strike. Am I hitting with all the fingers? No, I'm hitting with just the I. The M and the A finger kind of come down sympathetically. And then upward, I want to recoil. I'm just striking with my I, keep that in mind. And striking down with A. And along with A comes down uh, the E finger. E finger is not striking, it's just there for support uh, for A. Okay, and downward I. So uh, once again, downward I, upward I, downward A, downward I. So once again, that's downward I, up I, down A, and down I. I, I, A, I. Again, I, I, A, I. Let's do it again. Down I, up I, down A, down I. Now Raquel number nine. Like I said, it could be used in combination with number eight, but by its own merit, it's a great one to have in your toolbox. So how does it go? Upward I, downward A, downward I, and upward I. Once again, I, A, I, I. That's up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up. So once again, you can use this in Verdiales. Now let's go back to what I was talking about earlier, tying in number nine with number eight. How do we do that? So if we go back to number eight, we have downward I, upward I, downward A, downward I, and then if we sequentially do it with number nine, which is upward I, downward A, downward I, and upward I, what do we get? Something we could use in Alegrias. Cool, huh? Now, Rasquela number 10. I love this one. That's because it's really similar to number six, my other favorite. This one, however, omits the E finger and the M finger. Sorry about that. So we've got upward P, downward A, downward I, and upward P. And remember once again the rule of P, when it comes up, it's gotta be below the first string and run across all the strings, including six, and end up right on here, the rosette area. Once again, P, A, I, P. Okay, and once again, yeah, you could use that in Verdiales. Why do I use that one so much? Because that's such a good gauge of uh, the efficacy of your regados. Um, and of course, you could do it in cycles. Malagueñas. Now, Rasquel number 11. This one is not used as much as the other ones, but nonetheless, it is nice to have in your toolbox. So we've got a downward A, downward I, and an upward I.
Now finally, Raquel number 12. This one is almost exclusively, with some exceptions, used to accompany Baile. It uses just two fingers and involves three strokes. And it's quite different from all the other ones. It's very separated sounding, very um, clean. So once again, upward P, downward A, and downward P. So that's the first one that we've had where we have a downward P. We still follow the rule with upward P having to be underneath the first string, striking past the six, ending up at the top of the rosette. And you could also incorporate the M finger, fusing it with A if you'd like, for some more power on the downstroke. Maybe you'd like to even start this whole pattern with your downward A instead of starting with P, and that's fine. Or fusing together like I just showed you, M and A. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to support us, go on over to patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. For more information and to receive free materials, news updates, and more, subscribe to Ben's newsletter at flamencoforyou.com.